you may sometimes urgently need some files of yours or document for something like your certificate, ID card, CVs, and other relevant documents. But sometimes these documents may either be at home or at the office. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Drive to store some important files so you can access them from anywhere without stress and even show you how you can share these document or files with others. This is Frank from Tech Edify. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any video. Now, what is Google Drive and why it is so important to use it to store your document or files rather than keeping those files on a storage device like a pen drive? hard drive or even your computer. Google Drive is a cloud-based storage platform from Google that allows you to store any files free on the platform using your Google account. And because these files are stored on a computer somewhere on the internet, it allows you to get access to these files anytime, anywhere. Now let's go straight and see how to use Google Drive. There are so many ways you can access Google Drive. Either you use the web or have the desktop uh, version of it or maybe on your smartphone. So if you're on Android, you can just go to your Google apps there and then you'll find what uh, Google Drive. So let me see and let me show you how to access Google Drive on the web. So one, you need to sign in with your a Google account or your Gmail account. So after you've logged in, um, as me like you are in your mail, one way to access Google Drive is to just click on the Google Apps here. So you see Drive. So you can simply tap on the Drive. Now one thing is that you can arrange this icon. Maybe you just want to push it at the first or at the top there. You can arrange all these icons as you see. So you can tap from here to access your Google Drive or you can just simply launch your browser or open a new tab then you type drive.google.com drive.google.com it will send you straight to your Google Drive so this is my Google Drive as you can see um, Let's take a tour over the interface and see what we have there. So these are the various menus that you have in your Google Drive. So you see new. The new allows you to uh, create a new folder on your drive or maybe upload a file or a folder. And over here you see the various Google uh, applications that you can use like Google Docs, Google Sheets, Slides and Google Forms. So basically that is what the new tab over here provide you. And now you can see I'm on my drive. My drive currently lists all what I have on my Google Drive. It means that all these are the files that I have on my Google Drive account. Now when you go on to the next one, here's computer. It means that if you have installed Google Drive on your on your desktop, you can see all the folders that you synchronize from your machine. It means that you can just have folders locally on your PCs whereby it's synchronized with the Google Drive platform. And then over here will show you shared width. The shared width shows a document that others have shared with you. And don't forget that Google Drive can allow you to share documents with other people. So if you check here, you can see the various documents that I have and those that shared it. So you see the users, their names and the day that was shared. So any file that is shared with me, I can find it here. And then over here talks about recent files or recent document that I've worked with. So these are the recent document. And then we use this tab to highlight certain folders or files that you you want to easily find so you can just select a document or a file and start it so that it can make it simple for you to show here when you are looking for it and then the bin shows 
items that you delete from your google drive normally when you delete something from your google drive it comes straight to the bin it can be there for 30 days 30 days and after the 30 days you lose it so that is it so you can see the storage space that google has given me um, when you create a google account probably you'll get 15 gig free space it means that you have 15 gigs to store any information that you want on your drive but when it's full you can buy a storage from google so that is the various menus here now if you want to search for a file you can simply search it from this end so you know that not for you to be scrolling down to be checking files that you have you can just simply search for a file name from here now if you look at the top here you can see the view it means that i can view my files on my drive using the grid layouts the grid layout allows you to see the thumbnails of the various files and i think this is quite cool if you want to see the actual files that you have so you can toggle between the view maybe you want to change it to a list layout the list layouts will list out your uh, files in a list form but if you want to send it to or switch it to the grid layout you can also check that and this one gives you detail about the file that you select so supposing i select this book i click on it i'm seeing the view details it can help me to see information about the file information about the file now don't forget that when you click on a file it also gives you an extra menus this one allows you to get a link maybe you want to share the link you can share it and this allows you to uh, share with other people it means you want to add a user to the file so that they can also access it from anywhere and this talks about the preview you can preview your document so that's it and this is to delete or remove it from your google drive and then this one to get more actions on the file whether you want to show file location add shortcut or move to or rename so probably that is the interface of your google drive so let's see how to add a file to your google drive assuming you have a file or you have some important documents you want to add them to your google drive there are two ways or several ways that you can do that now from here i can go to the new and tab on the file upload that means we want to upload a file so i'll click on it and then it will open up my computer so any of the files that i want to add to my google drive so let me just pick one file from here um let's say this is a file that i want to add to my google drive certificate so i'll just select and just click on open and automatically it will load the file into my google drive after it has finished uploading i will see it live over here another way that you can also upload a file to your google drive is just to go straight to your computer and then probably you open to the location of the file that you want to add so let's ask maybe i want to add this invoice one i can just drag it straight now when you drag it straight over here it can allows you to what upload a file then you can see the certificate i added has finished uploading this is the one that i currently added so you can see them this is the invoice i added to the drive so that's how you can upload or one you can also simply right click anywhere maybe from the top here you can just right click here and then you can come to file upload so that's another way so either you go to the new then come to file upload or you can just simply right click anywhere in your drive and you can see file upload or you can just simply drag it the file to your google drive or from the my drive you can also see file upload so that's how you can upload a file to your google drive now one thing is that you can also use folders to organize your files on your google drive 
And maybe you don't want to have your file being splitted over on your drive like that. You can simply create a folder. So when you come to the my drive, you can see new folder or from here, you can click on and see new folder. So probably I want to create a folder and maybe name it uh, my document. So I'll just create it. And the moment you create it, you will see your folder here. So if I open to this folder, I can organize files inside. You can organize files in that. You can just right click on it and upload any file that you want it in this folder. So that's how you can create folders on your Google Drive to organize your file. So let me go back here. So this is the folder yeah if you open it it's empty here so you can drag a file here straight forward or can right click inside and say file upload and then you just choose the file that you want to add so let me say i want to add this file so quickly it will be uploading it and you can see the file right here in my google drive so sometimes you can organize files in folders that means on your drive you can create folders and organize your files or you can just simply drag a file straight to the folder if you already have it you can just drag it straight to the folder that you've created so probably that's how you can what uh, organize folders in your drive now let's see how you can share a file with other people Supposing I'm working on a document and I, I want others to also help me in uh, putting up information on the document or probably I have a file I want to share it with other users. So let me pick one file. So let's assume maybe this book I'm sharing it with other users. So the moment I click on it and I, you see the link get link here. So either I want people to download it or maybe share a link you can just click on this one and then over here if i want to add users to the file specifically i can search in the name of the user that i want to add to this file that means this file can only be accessed by people that have added to the document so um, let's say i want to add frank chum to the file and then you can put up a message there to notify the person so and then you begin to choose the the right or the role that you want the person to view maybe you just want the user to be a viewer you can just pick a viewer commenter that means the person can just pass on comment editor allows the person to add content to it so probably i want people to work on this file you can just choose what editor and then click on send so the person will receive a notification on this file that you have shared yes so that's how you can add users to your file now if you want to allow people to just download a file from your google drive or maybe i have a file i want to share a link so that people can download it so let us maybe this book i want to share or get a link for people to download so i'll click on it and then over here you see what get link so when you get a link then from here you can change the access level so one maybe you want to be restricted restricted means only the people that you added can access it but if you choose anyone with a link that means if i copy this link yes i can share the link with any user maybe i want to send it through whatsapp or email so the moment the person click on the link they will be able to access this file they will be able to access this file from anywhere they get the link from and then moreover if you want to download a file from your google drive maybe i want to download a document from my google drive or print it let's see how to do that so let's as maybe this invoice i want to download it or print it now you can just click on it or double click if you double click you see the file being open now as you can see we have what's download here so i can click on the download and automatically it will download the file on my computer 
yeah so that's one thing that you can do or if you want to print it directly you can hit on the print and print these file so basically that is um what you need to know about google drive um just explore i want you to take it more seriously especially to keep up your important files sometimes you might be looking for your file somewhere or to get access to some of your documents and they might not be close to you you can store up all your documents using google drive so that it becomes more accessible anywhere that you are yes because it's being stored on a cloud that means there's a computer somewhere that these files are stored so anywhere that i am i can just log on onto it from a different device and access my google drive yes so just go ahead and start organizing all your files using google drive so that it becomes more easy for you when you are looking for your files i believe you've enjoyed the video and then also you've learned something new at least from now you will know how to organize all your important files or to keep them safe uh, because mostly when you keep files on devices like pen drive and other stuff you can get spoiled or get missing but if you use google drive to store your information or to store your important files anytime anywhere you can retrieve those files if this video has been helpful to you please kindly give it a thumb up and also don't forget to share this video to your friends and loved ones so that they will also learn this new thing a new way of keeping all their files more secured and more safe using google drive thanks for watching this video and enjoy this video from me